hello, hello, and welcome to the Lizabitty channel. I am your gracious host, Lizabitty. So I thought I would do this video to give my subscribers as well as potential viewers and potential subscribers a look into my world as a black woman living abroad and single. Yes, I'm single. So I'll give you a little brief history about myself, okay? I am originally from Dallas, Texas, but my primary home, when I come back to the States and I relax and all of that stuff, is in Houston, Texas. So I am a Texan and a now a Houstonian. I've been in Houston since 2013. Okay, so let's get right into the facts. Here we go. Traveling abroad. How do I like it? I would call myself nomadic. What do I mean by that? From the time I left undergraduate till now, I have truly been on the move. Um, be it living in different states to living in different countries. So I went to school um, in Louisiana. And from there I went to graduate school in Minnesota and in Michigan. So moving about. Texas, Louisiana, Minnesota, Michigan. So I've been able to plant my feet in different states and live there as well. Um, so my first time though leaving the country on my own, meaning taking care of myself as an adult, was after graduate school. I joined an organization that was doing um, work in Africa, on the continent of Africa. And that's where it all began. So that springboard, I will say this, taught me a lot about myself as an American, as a black woman, as a black American woman. All of those things and the hypocrisy that we live in as <laughs> Americans. Um, so I learned a lot by far more education than I could have ever received in an American classroom, okay? So, from there, which leads to the next point, I have it here. Um, so how many countries have I visited? Wow, let's see. Okay, so I've been on six continents. The remaining seventh continent is Antarctica. I plan to get there someday. I plan to get there someday. Um, the total number of countries that I have visited. Wow, my goodness. What shall I say? I'm going to give you a rough estimate. Okay, I've never truly written down how many um, countries I visited. So I'm going to go here. Between 45 and 60. Okay, between 45 and 60 countries. So a next um, springboard to that, you may say, well, how did you get to visit all of these places? Let's reverse. So starting back from the time that I left the country on my own as an independent adult, from graduate school, going to Malawi, Africa. Um, I was in positioned in a little small community outside of Blantyre. Um, so from there, I visited numerous African nations as well, okay? Um, because of how Malawi is positioned, it is a, what they call a landlocked country. There is no massive uh, amounts of water that surround it outside of the lakes that are intra-country. So, um, yeah, so visited a lot of countries springboarding from Malawi. What countries did I visit? There. So let me say this. There are 54 countries on Mother Africa. How many have I visited <laughs> of the 54? Remember, my total count is between 45 and 60 for countries. So, um, if I had to list them all, my goodness, 
anywhere from 20 to 25. So even if you took the 45, that's over half of the countries on the list that I've visited. So I've been to so many places. Okay, so um, now it's, I still keep my passports, but how you do renewals now, it's not like it used to be. It used to be if you had a passport and you needed more pages because your pages were full, you could go into a U.S. Embassy Consulate General and they would add pages in there, okay? Well, some years back, they made passports with more pages. Actually, you can get a longer version with 52 pages. They no longer add pages to your passport. So now you will frequently get new passports. And that is for a host of reasons, a host of reasons. Now, I won't get into those unless you tell me that's something that you want to hear. It, of course, it would all be purely my own personal conjecture, not what is valid um, out there. Of course, there's reasons why the Department of State determined that they would do that, but I would give you my own perspectives, okay? So where am I now? Right now, right now, I currently live in... Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. And so you may say to yourself, well, Elizabeth, what's it like? So what I want to do is to do a series on the different countries I've lived in and the experiences. So that experience, this experience with Dubai I'm going to tell you about will be the first one, okay? So my job relocated me here in August of 2019. However, I have been coming in and out of the UAE, which stands for United Arab Emirates, for the last 10 years, 10 plus years, okay? Well, I have been traveling throughout this country and meaning visiting here for numerous reasons, okay? Personal or business, leisure or professional. <laughs> so, how do I like it here? I love it here. So, if you ask me why do I love it here, the first thing I'm going to tell you is safety. I've been to a lot of places. I'm very safe here as a single woman. Um, I'm never worried about someone attacking me. I'm never worried about not having access to health care. Um, I'm just, I, I just live free here. I live free here. So, next question you may have in your mind. Wow. Because you've seen all these pictures on Google, on Instagram about Dubai, and yes, they're real. <laughs> it's nothing fake. Dubai is always on, the, Dubai especially. But the Emirates in general, too, is always on the cutting edge of everything first. They want to be the first to do just about everything. So in terms of the countries in the region, they diversified themselves in terms of ways to bring in money for the country. And they ramped up tourism, and that's why they're always first on things. Because yes, they made money from the oil industry. However, again, they diversified themselves, not being a one trick pony, which is why a lot of the countries in the regions are struggling because they didn't do that. And they solely relied on oil to bring in income. And if you see the situation that we're in now, dealing with COVID-19, this is the situation that we're in, okay? So, um, Safety. The second thing is I live a very, before all of this stuff that's happening now came about, I was always out for live music events, art events. Yes, I do know people here that I hang out with other people who are non-Americans um, from different places all over the world. And so that community, they will let each other know when something's going on. And so I'm typically always out. 
I follow a couple um, on, and you all may have seen their channel. If you're not, go over there and subscribe. I love them. Black Acres of the Gambia. Okay, so husband and wife, they've been together for 40 years, been married for 20, I believe it said. Um, but they re they did a, a show a few months back, and they were talking about different things about, you know, their relationship. But one of the things that, that they mentioned on there um, was about... Uh, couples spending lots of money on basically on travel going here there and everywhere well I'll say this I think that travel is very very important just like I consider fine arts to be important and fine arts that would take you into music and all types of art be it drawing sculpting etc um, why because just like people are into sports and they say that sports builds character so does traveling. Traveling gives you a chance to leave what you read in books and it becomes fruition. Everything that you ever could read about, about a place, it's an exact science, if you will. So I find that travel opens us up to a gamut of things in understanding and learning about cultures and all of that now I'm not saying to you well go into massive amount of debts to do that of course traveling you can come up with creative ways on how to make those dreams come true um, people invest in what they believe in so again if you believe in sports People go to sporting events. They put all their money in the sporting events. I'm not an athletic person. I don't do sports. But I am a traveler. I put my coins, my money, into traveling and visiting the world because I want to see these things. So I want to back up a bit to go back to my time here in Dubai, living here, because visiting here is different than actual living because of course you would see things that you normally wouldn't see you would see them when you live here okay um, the UAE is a melting pot of internationals from every spectrum every walk of life you could ever think imaginable they sit here is it one of my most favorite places in the world it's high it's high on that list I long to be, and I am going to get there one day, to be retired on Mother Africa. That's where I am supposed to be. You may say, well, why are you supposed to be there? I am a badass, a black American descendants of American slaves and sharecroppers. That's where I come from, okay? So that's a hashtag, yes it is. That's where I belong. Now. No, I'm not going to do DNA tests to say, well, what place are you supposed to be from? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go myself back to Mother Africa. One of my most favorite places high on the list is Cape Town, South Africa. I love South Africa. South Africa is unbelievably it, it, it is it is all that and then some. I am just like the clump. I have no words for it. So, but being here in Dubai, as I said, I love it. I love the mix of the cultures. I love that how safe I am here. Undoubtedly, I love the activities here. Before all of this new way of life has changed, so if you're interested in knowing more about my time here in Dubai, in the United Arab Emirates, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Look at some of the videos that I do have already about Dubai. Leave some comments. Let me know what you want to see. Let's get a discussion going and we can talk about those things. All right. So thank you for watching me and you all have a great day.